Hi, this is Brian Forrester, and today we're going to be exploring ancient megalithic sites in India. I have not been to India, actually. Uh, we tried to go three times, or actually two times on major tours, but we weren't able to get enough people to go with us. But what we're going to see here is the same as what we see in places like Peru, Bolivia, Egypt, etc., where you have a megalithic presence, and then you have the cultures that we understand of in terms of ancient India doing the secondary detail work. This, for example, is the system of caves at Barabar, and these are granite, and you can see the incredible level of precision cutting into that very hard stone. There's no question that um, high technology would have to have been involved. And here again we have another structure. You can see that the openings and the chambers are likely the first constructions and then the ornamental carving was done later. In general the ornamental carving was done between the 3rd and 10th centuries AD and India at that time did have um, hard metal tools such as steel so they could have uh, quite easily done the ornamental carving, but cutting out these huge chambers is very unlikely, or I would say impossible. So as I said, like other ancient sites we find in different parts of the world, in India you have two stages of work. You have the initial work, which is the chambers and vertical supports or posts, and then you can see that there's a elephant carving that would have been done during the 3rd to 10th centuries AD. Now some of the locations here, they're in different parts of India. You have Ahanta, you have Ellora, you have um, Elephanta, and as I mentioned, uh, there are other locations too in India that show incredible levels of precision stonework such as here. Once again, the verticals and the openings and the chambers would have been from the first time period and then the ornamentation on the surface done later. This again is at Barabar. Very hard uh, granitic stone. Most of the other locations are in basalt, which also is a very hard stone. This again is at Barabar, and to some degree I find it the most fascinating. It's not as um, highly um, ornamented as the other locations, such as at Elora and Ahanta, but the precision work is amazing. And here again, the chamber and the vertical supports done during the first time period, possibly pre-cataclysmic, as in more than 12 to 13,000 years old, and then the ornamental carving being done during the third to 10th centuries AD. And here again, quite a simple design, but executed into hard stone, with the Buddha-like figure in the background being done in the 3rd to 10th century AD. So if you do ever have a chance, this shows you a sense of scale. Again, I believe this is at Elora. Notice the size of the people as compared to the size of the cutouts and chambers. This is only a small section at this site. It's massive. Here again, uh, rel relatively simple execution, but not simply done. This would have to have had either thousands of workers with very hardened um, steel tools or lost ancient high technology. And this again, I believe, is at Elora or Ahanta. The surface carving done <laughs> during the time period we understand, the chambers themselves being done prior to that time. And here, again, massive ornamentation, and all of this carved out of the basalt bedrock. Absolutely fascinating. We hope to do another tour, or at least our first successful tour, of India, maybe in 2022 or 2023. Uh, these sites are quite spread out. They're not all in one central location. So this tour would have to be at least 12 to 14 days in order to be able to see uh, <coughs> some of the greatest examples. Look at this, this is absolutely amazing. And again, this is at Barabar, very hard granitic stone 
polished almost like glass. And look at that arch, a perfect arch shape. Again, this is at uh, Elora or Ahanta or possibly Elephanta, having not been there. I don't know exactly, but it, uh, it shows you how big some of these sites are. And here, relatively simple, but you can see that the chambers are quite large and that the ornamental carvings of the, I would suppose, Buddhas would have been done during the time period of the 3rd to 10th century AD, the chambers themselves older. And this is an example of a relatively simple one, but again, we're looking at incredibly ancient works in the mysterious land that we call India. Thank you for watching.